Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another special four star gold character gameplay video. And instead of a new person this time, we're going with an oldie, alright? And thank you to Scopely for allowing me the services of Rocky Maya via the Blue Chipper. So I can make a little preview for you guys and we can end a debate. Now we kind of want to, we want to cycle through some things here and go to some of these forgotten about champions that nobody builds. Put them up to four star gold and say, is he good? Is he, is he any good? Should I build him? You know. So uh, I'm here with a max four gold Rocky Maivia. And we're going to get into him. You can get his stuff flying around. That's my new thing recently. If I can make uh, if I can make some part of your your outfit fling around here when I spin him in the in the view screen, you're A-OK -okay with me. So I wish we could put it on backwards. Nothing beats Wendy Richter's cape. Just saying. Okay. So let's get into the poster. You know how we do it. Trainer. He is the Immobile Gems Do More Damage Trainer. And I would like to throw this out here. Scopely, if you're watching, I'd like to see Rocky Maya Via here get a 9k training buff. Bring them Immobile Gems up even higher. There's not a lot of people that that could even benefit. And 35% uh, is kind of a low percent in 2019, almost 2020, if you feel me. So, Lynx, he's got Blood Brothers. Less damage for blue moves. Nation of Domination, gem damage. And new gen, 10% more damage to gems. So that Nation of Domination link would be his primary link. Especially being a striker. He has no new gear. Let's get into the moves, guys. This is tough. This is tough. I really wanted a challenge. I wanted to take somebody that is just notoriously bad and this is this is it right here so let's just go ahead and uh go through the move set that i did choose and we'll talk about the other stuff there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of variety here guys so we got the finisher shoulder breaker 13 charge black move deal 23,504 damage plus 4,773 bonus damage for every immobile gem and pin the opponent now, the first thing I want to say about that finisher is you could instantly look to, well, who's the Immobile Gem Trainer? Let's buff that finisher. He is the Immobile Gem Trainer, and he can't train himself. So you can't buff that finisher. Like, that's what you'd want to do is buff the percentage per Immobile Gem for that finisher to hit hard, and you just can't because there is nobody to put on him because he is that guy. So, okay, moving on. We got two green moves in here. Both of them are seven charge. We got the stun gun. Deal 23,000 damage. Choose five gems to make into immobile gems. So that's how you get the bonus damage for the finisher. And then the spike pile driver. Deal 14,655 damage and make six random gems into black gems. That's how you charge the finisher. So I've tried this a lot of different ways, guys. I've tried this a lot of different ways. And the best I could do is this. I'm going Steel and Titus. We want to hit the green moves early. And that finisher is high charge. I tried a lot of sets with Orndorff to make more immobile gems for that. But the, the trade-off for waiting for the finisher to charge was too much. And throwing 10 random blacks out on the board, like, I was able to fill the finisher consistently earlier in the match. So, whereas other things might hit harder in a perfect world, like, that's not what I'm all about over here on my channel. I'm not about the perfect world, I'm about the real world. And what's going to work more consistently, not what's going to hit hardest one time. So, this is going to work best consistently. Uh, I mean, there's some other things. I want to try them out as a hot tag when I don't have to use a move point trainer. Then we could probably do something. Because then uh, we could go Orndorff and Titus. So, I just don't know the best way to set them up. Uh, I might do that in a separate video. So, I got to figure out the best way. I want to run him. Who I want to use as my setup man and everything. So, 
Uh, let's get out into it here. We are going to take him straight out against Seth Rollins, match 175, Hell Mode. We do got the class advantage, but, uh, I mean, he's bad. We need the class advantage. But, with the class advantage, we are going against Rollins, who is going to rock me, so... I've had pretty good luck. I had pretty good luck with all the practicing. I ran a ton of matches with a ton of different move sets with him, so. I just didn't get to the tag team stuff. Okay, we did get green on turn one, so that's good. And Seth did not get a break on turn one. There we go. Now, it's going to be important here. You want to do the 10 random to black before you do the other move. Because you don't want to accidentally break any of your own immobile gems. That would just be silliness. Boom, look at that. You just load the board with black. Now, I got a black break there. And look at that. I got a black 5 break on the bottom. Which is... That would fill it for next turn. Hmm... Do I get the extra move charge back and put the immobile gems out now? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Because I can stay away from him. Let's make sure he can't move these blues. Just put it on all the blue. So we did, we are able to do some things there. And we finagled that around so that he couldn't break the gems that he needed to break. Now I could take that five match of blue. Or I could take the bonus damage for having them immobiles on the board. I'm not going to be able to finish him with the finisher here, that's for sure. 23,000 plus 47 for each of those at 16. That's like 39k. That is not going to finish him, so I have to be playing for the next cycle. I almost think I should wipe all that blue off. And see what drops down the middle. Oh, tough decisions, guys. Tough decisions. I'm going to let him wipe it, because if you look at where those immobiles are, his first break on this should be the blue in the middle. No, he had purple. Okay, now he's going to take the blue. Yep. Alright, I blew it. That's why I was going to take it on my last turn. Just so I could guarantee he wouldn't get it. And now, look at that. He's stuck. No recycle for the guy. No recycle for the guy. Let's go ahead and take black while we got it. The good news is, is he hits like a truck with his gem damage there. So, that was 46,000 damage just on some gems. That was the one thing I was impressed with, and, uh, I mean, yeah, I got the class advantage, but that's still heavy hands, man. Four-star gold strikers hit so hard. Okay, now can he take a hit? Oh, that's a bad one. Oh, come on. Come off it now. Oh, stay away from what I want for next turn. If you even drop a black. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, we're getting all those blacks and we got one green in there. We're slowly but surely trying to charge back up. Now, can we beat Seth Rollins? I don't know. Alright, we gotta uh, we gotta get the upper hand now. Take the black gems. 24k damage on a on a black match. We gotta save that another turn. We gotta try to we gotta try to finish him. Let's take that, get the loot boxes, get the cascades. Oh, he might not even kick out of that. Look at that 61k with the heavy hands. The blue chipper, the blue chipper comes in and just straight knocks off Seth Rollins. 
straight out of the gate, guys. You've seen it. There was no edits on this video. I didn't cut the footage nowhere. Rocky Maivia can come in with that little move set, and he can just knock off Seth Rollins. Just boom. You see, I mean, he took a lot of damage, but he won. He won. He's he can't be as bad as you think if he can beat Seth Rollins, right? All right, we'll try a different move set on a different opponent. Who we got down here? Batista. Oh man, I might regret this one. All right, let's heal up. And let's take Steel off here. This is the other one, but you got to get real lucky with this other move set. I mean, this can this can go real bad. So we'll talk about some of the other moves. Okay, so we got deal 29. We got uh, two yellow moves and another black move. We got the Samoan drop, nine charge yellow. Deal 29,000 damage and choose six gems to make into immobile gems. And then we got the backbreaker yellow move, eight charge. Deal 21,000 damage and make eight botch gems into purple gems. And then we got a black move, leaping clothesline, 11 charge. Deal 39,713 damage and steal eight botch gems. Now, there's not like a real nasty big show with enough health left to make a fair. No, we don't. We don't got an update. No. Are they serious? Right? Are you serious right now? I'm trying to record update windows. Anyways, uh, this seems kind of tailor made. Like, who else just chucks a million random boss gems like Big Show? Because most people, when they put them down, it's on a finisher, and they know they're going to get broke, like, right away. Big Show will just fill the board up with these suckers. Um, who else is that? Natty puts a couple rows of them down, right? Something like that. And, uh, so steal eight botch gems from that? Okay. Um, but it's not really doing much for you to steal the botch gems. Big Show fills the board up with them. You put Valentine on here with that, and you can steal 12 boss gems. So at least they will do damage for you at that point. But I don't know. That's still... And then make 8 boss gems into purple gems. That would work out against the people who have the rose, like, you know. But obviously Rocky can't fight against Natty. That, I was just brainstorming people that I know put a bunch down. Uh, there's got to be some males that put rows or columns of boss gems too. So you could do that and it would turn the whole row or column into purple. But he doesn't have any purple moves. So how does that help? That's what I don't understand. I think that if that move was make eight botch gems into black gems, he might be semi-viable. And it wouldn't even be OP. So why on earth? Does that move change it to purple gems? Why does that get such a nerf that it can't be changed it to black gems? Because if that was changed to black gems, and then the steel eight botch gems move there, and then I would, you could still go with the, well, the finisher wouldn't do no good at that point. But I guess you could still go with the finisher at that point, and then, no, I'd probably go with the Samoan drop on that set. And making mobile gems just because, just to do that extra damage with the yellow move there earlier, lower charge. Or you could put just put the spike pile driver on there, the green move that makes more black gems, and just, you know, keep trying to put that steel bot gem. But all that would be for would be going against like a specific person, like, and somebody so specific that besides Big Show, I can't even think of one more right now. That that would work against. And the backbreaker makes it into purple anyway, which makes it useless. So, you know what I mean, guys? Like, so the only other thing you can do is you can put the Samoan drop in instead of the spike pile driver, right? But then you got nothing that makes black gems and a 13 charge finisher. And then you got two moves that are, that are off suit, a green move and a yellow move to make more immobile gems. So I could look at that there, and then you'd have make 80 mobile gems, make 9. If my Orndorf was max, it'd be make 9, make 10. So 19 mobile gems, then that finisher could be strong, right? 
But how are you going to get that 13 charge on the finisher and be able to keep those immobile gems on the board? How are you even charging the green and yellow if you're breaking the black to fill that 13 charge? Like, there's no way, guys. I get pounded every time I try that. So we go with this one, and if we don't get green, we're going to get pounded. But this is the other way. This is how I'd run him as a hot tag. So we put Orndorff on there to make more immobile gems to get more bonus damage on that finisher. And we still leave Titus on there to make more gems into black gems. Okay, so we're now going out here. Match 176 against Jeff Hardy. And we're going to see. We better get some green on this board. If we don't get green on the board, we're going to be in big trouble. Oh my goodness. Look at that ugly, ugly mess. Bop! 37 K or look at that thirty just hitting him, just hitting him with the uh, with a regular gem break just bop thirty k. Rocky with the heavy hands. You know how many guys with power gems on the board can't hit for thirty k like that? Unbelievable. All right, we got some green there. Here we go. He only got one of his moves off here, so this wasn't bad. This really wasn't a bad start, considering I didn't use a move point trainer. And he did, so I got the better of the beginning of the match. Ten random gems into black gems. Let's go. This is our big move right here. Bop! Bop! Get him, Rocky. 84k. Oh, and... Oh, and... What am I doing there? Hmm. I mean, I have to let him move something or we're going to get a reshuffle. I'm just going to take away these multiply gems. Okay, we got 80 mobiles on the board now. And we're going to hit that shoulder breaker. Let's see what the kickout damage is going to be. This is as best as we can do here. 61k. 61k. Now we are hitting him hard. Now he can get some of these. Now I got nothing. I'm wiped. I'm wiped. I have to start over now. So. Okay. Good. I need that. Put a green up top. Oh, that would have been perfect. Don't make me break this green we need green green breaks are more important than black breaks because we could chuck 10 black gems on the board after we get the green now he's going to break the rest of the green this is going to be a problem filling back up this one's going to come down to the wire ladies and gentlemen but we got to see his hot tag potential there anyways and then you just tag back out and you get whoever your other guy was back in the match at this point Okay, now I pretty much want a white blue. Oh, there we go. There we go. But he got a bunch more blue on the board. Oh, he took it himself. AI, the AI is so bad. Oh, that was cool. I didn't know that. Uh... He had choose blue gems to destroy and it let him pick a wild card. I honestly don't think I've ever seen that before. Good to know for the future, ladies and gentlemen. See, we got something real good out of this. We got knowledge of other things. Ooh, and we got a black break there, so that's kind of what we needed to do. It's getting close here. We're, we're under 150k health. But can we go two for two, ladies and gentlemen? Can we go two for two with Rocky Maivia? 
this is a video for all of you who like to, you know, the people that, like, I build who I like, and I don't care. Like, I just build the people that I actually like. So if you're a huge Rock fan, and you're on the fence about building this guy here, don't be scared, guys. I don't even care about those gems right now. I just want his blues covered up there so they're not multiplies anymore. Fill that up. Bada boom, bada boom. That's it. So if you're on the fence about Rocky, look. He could take down four gold uh, Jeff Hardy and UF Rollins. First try on him. So he can certainly take out some people but like i said i mean this set right here this is this is the only thing that even really works unless you're going against somebody who's going to throw a lot of botch gems around like i said maybe like a bret hart or big show people other people that get specific with their finisher with the botch gems it's not the same because like i said they put them where they know they're going to get broke so uh yeah i mean Rocky Maivia, the full potential unleashed. There you go. How would you guys run him? Uh, I mean, would you try and run the double moves with the yellow and green and get all... I mean, the problem is with that even, even when you hit the finisher again, uh, it's still not going to be enough to put anybody down. And then you're going to have three colors that need to be recharged again. Like, it's not good, guys. It's not... Good. It doesn't work. I lost my matches doing that. I win my matches with this set. So just being a striker in general saves him. And like I said, he's got them heavy hands, man. Doing 30, 40k damage, just breaking gems every... Like, phew, that's strong, guys. That's super strong. So I hope you enjoyed this preview of Rocky Maivia at 4 Star Gold. Guys, do me a favor. Drop a like if you're still on here. Uh, I feel like I don't get any likes on the videos. And you guys could help me out tremendously just by taking one second to click on a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you don't realize, that also helps me out a ton. I appreciate all of you. And if there's another Diamond in the Rough character out there, I guess not to say that Rocky was a Diamond in the Rough, but if there's somebody out there lurking the bottom of everybody's roster and you want to know, is he good? Let me know down in the comments section below and I will try to make that happen for you guys as soon as possible. But until next time, peace. If you enjoy my content and would like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give it a like rating with a thumbs up underneath. And hey, consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest content.